Hi, my name's Roger. I'm one of the senior techs at Maxim Truck and Trailer. Hi, today we're going to talk about some basic electrical and maybe give you guys a few tips on what not to do and what to do in regards to keeping your battery and your electrical systems in good shape. Here we've got an example of a set of batteries that are probably okay, but because they're so dirty, the, the operator can't see if he's getting serious corrosion underneath the terminals. There is actually a main battery fuse in the battery pack that services the whole of the cab. It's this little guy here. If you can't see it, you can't see the corrosion that's going on underneath all of the dirt. So it's a really good idea because if this thing fails, you're dead in the water. The cab totally fails electrically. Here's a good example of what can happen underneath all of the dirt. This is a battery jumper, not particularly from this model, but it's a good, good example of what does happen in your battery box. Here you can see sulfating taking place on the copper terminal that links to the battery. Here you can see what happens in an extreme case if that copper sulfating completely rots the terminal off. This can kill the engine. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on these battery terminals to kind of present, prevent this from happening. This is a, a lug terminal. It's a main fusible link terminal that connects to the starter motor's solenoid where the main battery power comes up to the starter before it gets distributed out to the cab and up to the alternator. This link was actually loose and corroded and arced itself off. It actually totally killed the truck. The truck was dead in the water and the customer was left with a very expensive tow bill just to get it here. All because one nut was loose on the starter motor. So the starter motor, amongst other things, is other places you need to be looking at periodically to see if you've got anything coming loose. Here we've got another example. This is probably okay, but because it's covered in so much dirt, you're not going to see corrosion taking place beneath these. These are actually two 150 amp fuses that protect the cab circuits after the battery power has reached this distribution point. If you keep this clean, you can see if corrosion is building up. And if you can see the corrosion building up, it's very easy to take it apart, clean it off, and then reseal it with any good battery sealer. That's good for any of the major electrical connections on your truck. This is a good example of keeping connections clean. This is the alternator connections. This is the ground at the top, and this is the main battery power up to the alternator. As you can see in this example, they're both clean and they're easily accessible and you can feel if they're getting loose or not. Looseness and cleanliness are the two most important things with all of your major electrical connections. If you keep them clean and you keep them tight, you shouldn't have any problems unless you get an outright failure on the alternator and or the starter. These guys up here are the main cab grounds as, along with a lot of other systems that connect back to this cab ground because it has a main cab ground back to the battery. The batteries are going to have to be kept clean and tidy and also your ground cables need to be kept in the same condition. Ground can be just as important as your power cables. If you allow them to become dirty and loose, they will give you lots of troubles. So just to recap, you've got five basic things that you need to be taken care of. The first is obviously your batteries. Keep them clean, keep them dry, keep them tight and make sure you don't get excessive corrosion. The next is signs of when you walk around the truck in the morning, have a smell for that rotten egg smell. If you can smell, it's actually hydrogen sulfide but it comes out as a bit of a rotten egg smell. If you can smell it, you've got a battery that's cooking. That means the battery is shorting out and it will take down the rest of the electrical system. So it's very important if you notice that smell, get your batteries tested quickly and often. Number three is listen, when you crank your engine in the morning to start the truck, is it slowing down? Is it taking a long time to crank? Is it a hard time to get the engine to fire up in the morning? 
That's another sign that you've got a failing electrical system, either dead batteries or a slow starter or a cable problem. Number four, check your external fuses. There's usually a big one in the battery box. There's nearly always a couple up by the front of the cab. They're very important that you keep them clean and dry so you can easily inspect them. And number five, last but not least, every now and again, maybe once a week, once a month, depend on what sort of usage you've got, check your starter motor cables, check your alternator cables, and have a look around all of your ground system because the grounds are just as important as the electrical power side. Thanks for watching Ask Roger and remember to check back, we're going to do some more of these in the video series to kind of help you guys out.